Now, let us try to understand how the land use pattern is in India. How is land used exactly in India? We all know that India stands in 7th place according to its area. The land area of India is 3.28 million square kilometers which geographically, latitudinally, longitudinally the entire area of land which India holds is nearly 3.28 million square kilometers. Is 100 percentage of our land is under our control? Yes, obviously according to many of us know that it is under our control. But literally we are not able to use 100 percent of land for our uses because 93 percent only comes under our usage. One is because of the northeastern states where the land is completely filled with hilly mountains and forest lands. The second reason is some of the parts which are occupied by Pakistan and some by China where the actual survey was not done. So we don't know exactly 100% what is the exact land location accident of India where we are using. So it is estimated that 93% of land only is being used for Indian purpose where Indian land is in our use. As we are talking about the usage of Indian land, we have only 93% of the land available for us. This 93% of land has been contributing a great significant for us because we all come under the category of this 93% of land available us for us to grow or for us to live, for us to stay everything. In this, the permanent pastures are day by day coming down. Permanent pastures day by day coming down what sir? Permanent pastures are the pastures which are used left dry where the grass will be growing on there that is used for grazing of the animals. The animal number also is increasing more so the permanent pastures are eaten up regularly by the animals. When the permanent pastures are eaten up regularly by the animals automatically permanent pastures will come down. That land will become into a dry land. That's the way the land is coming down. Land size is not coming down. The land, the way it is used has been coming down. Earlier because of the growth of the grass, it is called as a pasture land. But because the grass is not able to be grown there because daily buffaloes, cows, everything are coming and doing the grazing activity there and it is turning into a dry land. Very soon it will turn into an empty land. Then barren land. That's the how the land is turning into a barren land. Then according to the net area zone in India is only 54%. Out of the 93 percent available for us, only 54 percentage of the land has been used for complete agricultural purpose. Is exact 54 percent used in all the states? Is exact 54 percent used in Rajasthan and exact 54 percent used in northeastern states? Exact 54 used in South Indian states? No. It varies from state to state. In one state it may be 10 percent. In another state it may be 20 percent, overall in some states it may be 90 percent. But in states like Rajasthan it may be only 5 percent also. So it varies from every state to state basing on its geographical extent, basing on the climatic condition, basing on the monsoon seasons, everything will be the reasons behind that. So in Punjab and Haryana we have nearly 80 percentage of the state land used for agriculture, very fertile lands. Some of the fertile lands went off to Pakistan when India and Pakistan partition was going on. In some of the lands where in Pakistan you get very very fertile lands. The borders you get for India you get uh, the yellowish grass which is a dry grass. There you get green grass means it is a fertile land. Even grass also will be very fertile there. What sir? Grass fertile what sir? Means on the fertile land if grass is grown that will be in green in color. But in Indian land where in the desert lands where in the Rajasthan border when you see you find dry grass. That is another significant point which we need to remember when we talk about these points. And as I told you in Punjab and in Haryana we have 80 percent of the state land completely used for agriculture. Only 10 percent of the land, state land is used here for agriculture in Arunachal Pradesh. Why? Forests. Nobody can go inside. Tigers, lions, snakes, insects. All will be there. Second, mountains, heavy, heavy mountain lands, irrelevant areas to stay, 
difficult to live there regular floods and proper conditions these all may be the reasons and then moving on to understand how are the forests in india i told no sir forest dangerous animals that also we are not living in india that is a specialty in india we are according to the national forest policy of india the forest should be nearly 33% of the entire land for example out of 3.28 million square kilometers we should have at least some 1 million square kilometers of forest land should be there do we have that much land india has around some 65000 to 67000 of square kilometers of land only under covered by forest which is falling short than the natural requirement so why do we require a forest also this much for us all place is not there to live according to the national scientists who studied on the climatic conditions and they told that in a land when 33 percentage of the bit is covered with forest lands that will make the entire land to have good climatic condition proper time of the seasonals occurring monsoons coming in time resulting in a good crop growth resulting in the regular chain to flow in a regular systematic way which does not affect the climate at all wherein the temperatures on the land would not increase as they were increasing now which results in the reduction of the temperature normal climatic conditions where it would not be affecting the ozone layer we would not be having a cause for the global warming this much logic is there behind this forest we eat of forest also the forests are coming down they are now nearly 19 to 20 percent only forest so according to the national forest policy 1952 33 percentage of the land should be maintained under the forest then only the ecological balance can be maintained in the country that also not there why moving on here what happened for the forest then the forests are been converted into wastelands what are wastelands forests regularly animals are taken for making them to graze there regularly the people those who stay nearby the forest enter into the forest cut small small trees everybody will think i am only cutting the tree nobody else is cutting this much large forest is there nobody is seeing so i can cut daily one one tree he is cutting he will live for 10 years 3650 trees he will cut daily cutting like this some 10 families are there every day cutting bringing using burning cutting bringing burning cutting bringing burning cutting bringing burning rest grazing 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 so that land gets on slowly getting cleared they will enter into the forest slowly 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 they will go off into deep into the forest cutting eating burning like this forest land has come down now this land will be declared as waste land not useful because no river will be flowing nearby to forest there that side and nobody will be ready to come and settle there because it was once upon a time a forest nearby to forest they will declare as a waste land or a dry land nobody will do a cultivation there slowly it will turn into a place where we can do the places like where we can get the settlements and we also declare some other category of lands also like this like uh, rocky lands where huge rocks are present arid semi dry conditions where rains will not come hot climatic conditions and desert lands these are also considered as waste lands forest clearing this both regular activities in india is all are done then settlements people started to build their houses in these regions where it is very less in cost then roads they will lay on this kind of wasteland solely railways they will build on this kind of wasteland solely industries they will build then this all will result in land degradation how land will get degraded sir if we are using this one positively you build an industry you build a factory in the factory you use machines in the machines you use oil paints and some chemicals something to clean every item of in the factories 
once you use that one and chemicals are used to wash something and once it is done where do you keep the waste when you are burning something smoke will come where will the smoke go smoke will go into the atmosphere waste water will come into the land that waste water will go into the land into the internal layers of the land resulting in land degradation that's how land gets degraded here underground layers of the water will get absorbing this one contaminated spoiled entire land spoiled that's how you are degrading the entire land by establishing a factory next other methods of land degradation most of us know that if we have food shelter and clothing 95% of the needs are fulfilled this is an old saying sir modern day means you should have one house we told shelter that's it food daily tasty foods now change menu change clothing brands different brands sir now vehicles also we need sir traveling transport maybe yeah, we can add maybe in the next textbook they will add cbsc people also will add transport facilities but moving on to understand this one the entire land 130 million land has got already degraded 130 million square kilometers of land has already got degraded the rest 28% forest in that land degraded we have 28 percentage of forest and in that also we have other categorization 56 percentage is water eroded how can water spoil the land i told you just now one example chemicals can bring when you go to any beach you observe the water flow will be coming on towards us when the water flow is coming on towards us you find some bubbles like things and when water is leaving us you find some black black particles settling down on the sea shore what are those iron content calcium content all the different minerals which got mixed salt content everything will be in the sea we don't know what what are added into the sea in the ships that also we don't know what is carried in the ships what is being poured down into the sea who will see nobody will see these all will get mixed inside and come for us on the sea shore we go there jumping dancing playing regular activity for us with all these chemicals we don't know what happened actually in the ship and what did it throw there so all these things will be there so in that salt and alkaline natures are affecting the land other than that human beings as human beings we did not do anything sir yeah, we did many things what are those human beings activities first taking buffaloes cows over grazing i told no forest eating over grazing mining mining than the required limit completely mining till the depth where you can mine do the mining then what happens the land will get the scratches there so it becomes into dry land already dry land only no fill dry land underground layers also will become completely dry next in the states like jharkhand madhya pradesh orissa and chatisgarh mining activity has completely degraded the environment land in particular then afterwards over grazing daily over irrigation completely drilling of the entire inner layers of the water outside and doing over agriculture the factories like cement calcite soap stone and ceramic all chemicals getting into the land after they are purified and everything contaminating the land underground water layers so how to save our land degradation or how to stop land degradation land degradation can be stopped by simple methods we call them simple methods but practically it is very impossible for us because we don't like good things now no let us see here a forestation deforestation we generally what we do we cut down the forest a forestation is to grow the forest we have to grow the forest that is the best method to get land pure control land degradation will not be there management grazing what is management grazing we have to do mba in grazing what sir is talking management grazing means daily plan properly take the cattle give them a limited place for grazing take them in a systematic way like 
one month you take here leave this land for one month go for the other place do grazing there after one month you return here their grass will grow in the meanwhile here grass whatever is grown in one month you can graze it daily going and grazing 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 how it will grow we should give sufficient amount of time for that not to grow so proper management of grazing also is important next planting of trees wherever you find that there is a possibility of landslides to be happening there you need to have a planting the shrubs plants and to stop the land degradation happening to having the landslides happening so that the plants can stop the soil erosion also then moving on to control mining as i told you before in the mining when they are going into the extreme depth and bringing scars for that instead of that up to a certain level government has put a restriction so go along with that follow the restrictions follow the instructions carefully carefully you need to manage all these things then only you get proper some methods of controlling land degradation until and unless human beings do not take the thing seriously because of some people's activities the entire world have to pay the compensation for that everybody in the world will get the adverse effects because of few people's greedy nature we need to remember this point and we need to follow some precautions from everybody's point of view considering as a responsibility towards the planet if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus